phrasal verbs with look and get. Hello, everyone. My name is Richard. Hello, friends. I'm Justin. Welcome to our lesson. We are happy to see you. Justin, it's Saturday, so I've got a wonderful idea. Oh, what's your idea? Let's call Jason on Skype and offer him to go to the museum with us. Oh, that's a great idea. Let's do that. Hi, Jason. Hi, guys. I'm so happy to see you. We are happy to see you too. Jason, would you like to go to the museum with us today? Oh, guys, I wish I could go with you, but I have to find the information about phrasal verbs with look and get. Oh, it's easy. We can help you with that. Yeah, we know everything about these phrasal verbs. Oh, wow. I'm happy to hear that. Jason, come to our place right now and we will give you all the necessary information. Okay. Thank you, guys. See you. See you. So today in the lesson we will talk about phrasal verbs with look and get and put the knowledge into practice. Jason, come in, please. Thank you. All right, now let's start our lesson. Jason, first of all, we would like you to know that a phrasal verb is a verb that is made up of a main verb together with an adverb or a preposition. Typically, its meaning is different from the meaning of the original verb. Look at the following two examples and compare them. I always take my mobile phone with me. Or, her singing career took off after her TV appearance. As you can see, in the first sentence we've used the original meaning of the verb to take. And in the second sentence the meaning of this verb has changed since we added the preposition off to it. In this case, the phrasal verb to take off means to become successful or popular very quickly or suddenly. Now let's talk about phrasal verbs, which we can get from the verb look. Look after. It has three different meanings. To be responsible for something. For example, I'm looking after his affairs while he is in hospital. To take care of somebody or something. For instance, Kate is a nurse. She looks after patients in a hospital. To make sure that things happen to somebody's advantage. For example, he's good at looking after his own interests. Look for. It has two meanings. To search for something or someone. For instance, I spent all day looking for my sunglasses. To hope to get something. For example, I'm currently looking for a new job. Look around. It has two meanings. To turn your head so that you can see something. For instance, he heard a voice behind him, so he looked around but couldn't see anyone. To visit a place or building and look at the things in it. For example, she spent the afternoon looking around the town. 
look up. It has four different meanings. To become better. For instance, our financial situation is looking up at last. To raise your eyes when you are looking down at something. For example, she looked up from her book as I entered the room. To visit or make contact with somebody, especially when you haven't seen them for a long time. For instance, don't forget to look me up when you come to London. To look for information in a dictionary, reference book, or computer. For example, if you don't know the word, look it up in a dictionary. Look in on somebody. It means to make a short visit to somebody's house or other place to check if everything is all right. For instance, she looks in on her elderly neighbor every evening. Look through. It has two meanings. To pretend that you don't recognize someone. For example, she just looked straight through me. To examine or read something quickly. For instance, she looked through her notes before the exam. Look ahead. It means to think about what is likely to happen in the future. For example, the house is big enough for us now, but we are looking ahead. Look back. It has two meanings. To look again at something that you read or wrote earlier in order to remind yourself what it said. For instance, look back at your notes and summarize what you have learned. To think about something in the past. For example, one day we will look back on this and laugh. Now, read the sentences and choose the correct preposition or adverb to complete phrasal verbs. 1. How do you feel when you look ahead? back, up, on your childhood. 2. When we went to Boston, we only had a couple of hours to look around, in, for. 3. Jordan has to look back, through, after, his younger brother. 4. Benjamin looked, through, after, for, the magazine quickly. 5. We need to look for, around, ahead, to decide how to expand our business. 6. Can you look back, in, around, on the kids before you go to bed? 7. She looked in, ahead, up, from her book when she heard the noise. Let's check the right answers. 1. Back. 2. Around. 3. After. 4. Through. 5. Ahead. 6. In. 7. Up. Now let's talk about phrasal verbs, which we can get from the verb get. Get up. It has three meanings. To stand up after sitting, lying, etc. For instance, the class got up when the teacher came in. To get out of bed or to make somebody get out of bed. For example, could you get me up at six o'clock tomorrow? To arrange or organize something. For instance, we are getting up a party for her birthday. Get off. It has six different meanings. To leave a place or start a journey. For example, we got off straight after breakfast. To go to sleep 
or to make somebody do this. For instance, they couldn't get the baby off till midnight. To stop discussing a particular subject. For example, I couldn't get him off politics once he had started. To send something by post or email. For instance, I must get these letters off first thing tomorrow. To have no or almost no injuries in an accident. For example, she was lucky to get off with just a few bruises. To receive no or almost no punishment. For instance, he was lucky to get off with a small fine. Get away. It has two meanings. To go somewhere to have a holiday. For example, we're hoping to get away for a few days at Easter. To escape from somebody or a place. For instance, we walked to the next beach to get away from the crowds. Get through. It has five different meanings. To use up a large amount of something. For example, We got through a fortune while we were in New York. To manage to do or complete something. For instance, She got through all our questions in about eight minutes. To be successful in an exam or to help somebody to be successful in an exam. For example, she got all her students through the exam. To make contact with somebody by phone. For instance, I tried calling you several times, but I couldn't get through. To reach somebody. For example, Thousands of refugees will die if these supplies don't get through to them. Get on. It has three meanings. To be successful in your career, studies, etc. For instance, Parents are always anxious for their children to get on. To manage or survive. For example, we can get on perfectly well without her. To have a friendly relationship with somebody. For instance, she's never really got on with her sister. Get over. It has four different meanings. To deal with or gain control of something. For example, I think the problem can be got over without too much difficulty. To return to your usual state of health or happiness after having a bad experience, an illness, a shock, etc. For instance, he was disappointed at not getting the job, but he'll get over it. To make something clear to somebody. For example, he didn't really get his meaning over to the audience. To complete something unpleasant but necessary. For instance, I'll be glad to get these exams over with. Get out. It has four meanings. To become known. For example, We will have troubles if this gets out. To produce or publish something. For instance, Will we get the book out by the end of the year? To say something with difficulty. For example, She managed to get out a few words of thanks. To escape from or to leave a place, building, etc. For instance, I left the door open and the cat got out. Now, match the phrasal verbs with the pictures.
Let's check the right answers. 1. Get off. 2. Get up. 3. Get through. 4. Get over. 5. Get on. 6. Get away. 7. Get out. Jason, that's all you need to know about phrasal verbs with look and get. Guys, thank you so much for your help. Oh, please, don't mention it. Yeah, we were glad to help you. All right, boys. Now we can go to the museum. That's right. Let's go. See you soon.